Hello everyone. In this Flutter tutorial, I'm going to show how to create a custom app bar and make it a reusable widget. App bar is one of the most used components in all applications. Let's say you customize Flutter's default app bar to match your design guidelines. When you want to use that app bar on a new screen, you copy paste the app bar code or you recreate the app bar from scratch. That's not a best method to reuse an app bar. Turning that app bar into a reusable custom widget and using that custom widget whenever you need an app bar will save a lot of time for you. Let me show you how to do that. Here I have a basic Flutter app. It has two pages, one is home page and the other is second page. The home page have a default app bar and a text button. When I click on the text button, it will take me to the second page. And the second page only has the text second page. Alright, now let's customize the app bar. Set app bar's background color to purple. Then add center title property and set its value to true. Add elevation property and set its value to zero. Alright, now let's convert the app bar into a custom widget. Select app bar widget, open quick fix menu, then choose extract widget. I'm going to give the name custom app bar to the new widget. Once the custom app bar is created, it will throw an error message. The argument type custom app bar can be assigned to the parameter type preferred size widget. We get this error because Flutter's app bar is not like other widgets. It implements the class preferred size widget, which means the app bar must have a preferred size. To fix this error, we need to implement preferred size widget on custom app bar class. Once that is done, you will get another error. Missing concrete implementation of getter preferred size widget dot preferred size. Our custom app bar implements preferred size widget, but it does not have a preferred size variable. That's why we get this error. App bar takes its height from a preferred size variable, so we need to override the preferred size variable with a height value. There are few different ways to set preferred size. I like to use getter method to set preferred size variable. After custom app bar constructor call preferred size getter method. I am setting the height value to 60. You can give any value you want. Also make sure to add override annotation at the top of the preferred size method. Once that is done, save the file and the error message will be resolved. Alright, now let's add custom properties and constructors. I am adding two properties, title and background color. Add constructor parameters by opening VS Code quick fix menu. Now add the custom properties as value for the respective app bar properties. Once you hit save, you will get an error message. This error occurs because there is no title and background color assigned to the custom app bar. To fix it, let's add values to the custom app bar parameters. This time I am giving amber for the background color and for the title I am giving string value home page. Alright, now that we have a reusable custom app bar widget, let's add it to the second page. Before that, I'm going to move the custom app bar widget to a new file. Cut custom app bar widget code. Then inside lib folder, create a new folder called widget. Inside it, create a new dot file with the name custom app bar. Then paste the custom app bar code to that file. Import material library to fix the errors. At the main.dot file, the custom app bar object throws an error. This error occurs because the custom app bar widget is in another file. We need to import that file to the current file to fix this error. Import custom app bar file to the second page as well. Alright, now let's add custom app bar to the second page scaffold. If you are on the home page, navigate to the second page. Inside second page widget scaffold, add app bar property. Then add custom app bar to its value. Add constructor parameters and assign values to them as well. Now if I add any new design elements to the custom app bar widget, it will be visible on all the custom app bar widget objects wherever they are used. I hope this video was useful for you. For more videos like this, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.